Neurofeedback in the treatment of addiction. Neurofeedback seems to be especially effective in treating conditions or diseases that are affected by stress. In short, the neurofeedback helps correct the feelings that would normally arise during times of stress. By retraining the brain waves to modulate at frequencies that are more consistent with a calm, non-stressed state of mind and body. How successful is neurofeedback for addictions such as alcoholism? One recent study found that during a 24-month observation period after the neurofeedback therapy sessions had ended, 8 of the 10 participants did not drink. Interestingly, all of the participants in the non-neurofeedback group started drinking again during the same 24-month period. What makes neurofeedback therapy so successful in the treatment of alcoholism? Just ask anyone why they started to drink again after quitting, and they'll say, the cravings. When asked to describe cravings in terms of how it feels, it's not too surprising to find that the feelings are identical to feelings of stress. In fact, stressful situations can offer a trigger a setback, even in someone who has remained sober for some time. Could it be as simple as, no stress, no craving? For those who have been successful leaving alcohol behind because of neurofeedback, it would seem so. Ask them what they would like most about drinking and they will tell you, it relaxes me. In the absence of stress, we find none other than, you guessed it, relaxation. Up to this point, I have not mentioned drug addiction, but have only been talking about alcohol. However, alcohol is a drug, and people who are addicted to drugs, such as cocaine, struggle with the cycle of quitting and relapsing pretty much for the same reasons that alcoholics do. You may hear that one drug is far more addictive than another is, but at its core, that means that the feelings and cravings are stronger which means that neurofeedback therapy can be just as successful in treating drug addiction as it is with alcohol addiction. Perhaps the most exciting aspect of neurofeedback therapy is the fact that for many conditions, the results tend to be far more resistant to change when compared to other methods of treatment. Some researchers have even hinted at the results being permanent. Not only that, but when used in conjunction with other types of therapy, neurofeedback has the potential to radically increase the overall effectiveness of any treatment, resulting in a very favorable outcome. Anytime we can assist someone in moving from a stressful state to a calm and relaxed frame of mind, we will have significantly increased the probability for success. Fortunately, with neurofeedback, this is not only possible, but is predictable as well. Many people have already set themselves free from drug and alcohol addiction with the help of neurofeedback therapy. The brain can be trained not to experience stress in a context that had been stressful before. Then, where you once found a craving, you now find peace. Would you like to know more about the amazing world of neurofeedback? Go to www.neurofeedbackbook.com. My name is Dr. Claire Albright. I'm a psychologist and the author of the 168-page book called Neurofeedback, Transforming Your Life with Brain Biofeedback. And I can be reached at 949-454-0996. You can download my book for $7.99 at neurofeedbackbook.com.